Hey guys, Ryan here from Rock Speed Effects. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put handlebars and risers and a whole Grizzly kit on a 2016 Grizzly 708. All right, I'll go over some of the tools that we're uh, going to use here to take uh, take all the stock components off here. Of course, we just got a straight uh, straight head screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. We got side cutters, 10 millimeter on a 3 8 ratchet, 8 millimeter in a 13 millimeter socket here. So that's what we're gonna use here. We got a couple of towels to put over the tank and plastics to keep everything looking nice. Let's get started. All right, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the headlight bezel off. A couple little plastic clips down here. Just pop these out with your screwdriver. Come around on this side and pop this one out. It's one on each side there. Set those aside. And then this just comes off like that. Now that we got that off, there's a couple of more of these little plastic retainers right inside here. Just pop these out, same type thing. They just come right out. All right, now with those out, come around this side, and this is where we can pop the speedometer and dash assembly off. On the back side, you'll see that there's a plug in, of course, for your speedo. There's a clip right here. Just push on that, pull that out. Now that we got that, we're gonna take the speedometer assembly off of this plastic because we're not gonna use this when we install our rocks parts. So these little bolts on the back are an eight millimeter. Plastic comes right off. Take your dash and set that aside. Now the next part is going to be this bolt right here to take this plastic off. The last part of the bezel. 10 millimeter. Turn there. And then it's a little bit of work to get this out. It's not that bad. There's wires and stuff rerouted around it. But just give it a little pull, make sure you don't pull it on any wires, and then that comes out. Now onto the handlebar control. There's uh, two Phillips screws that are holding the uh, starter switch on. Just take those out. It comes off. Set that aside. I'm going to take the uh, brake lever off, two 8 millimeter bolts in that. Just take and set that aside. And then the cap you can just set aside as well. Um, now there is normally uh, wire retainers on here, like this one right here. I did take a couple other ones off already, but just take these off for now. So let's get this throttle assembly off and the brake lever off of here. Two Phillips screws underneath the throttle assembly. Yeah, I already loosened them. Let's take those out. Got the cap here, set that aside. The throttle simply comes right off, set that down. Two eight millimeter bolts on the cap here on the back of this brake assembly. I might have already loosened this one too. Okay, now that we got those out, just set them down aside. Set your parts aside. Now we're gonna pull the bars off. All right guys, let's get these handlebar bolts off. And this is holding your headlight assembly here as well, which you're just gonna take and set this aside. So once you loosen all these up, remove them, then the handlebars are just gonna simply be removed. There's nothing else on them. Now you will be using that uh, bracket and everything here. So everything's just gonna stay together. So don't uh, attempt to take that apart or anything. Just Take the bolts out like you okay. set that aside just like that. Pull your caps off. Bars are off and voila. Now we're going to be installing the Rock Speed Effects parts. Now that we got everything apart, we're going to put the Rocks risers on here. So just basically in reverse order of the handlebars, let's get uh, the risers set in there. So this is, I like to just set them ahead like this. We'll get this bracket. So this is going to be all used again. 
Grab your bolts. Just gotta get them threaded in there, get them started. I'm kinda holding that with my finger there. Over to this side. Some more things set it in, get the cap in here. That guys are fall back. The bolts started here. Alright, so now that we got the bolts in place, just give them a little snug with the hand. Probably give them a little turn with the ratchet as well. Tighten them in there a little bit. Okay. Now let's stand them up and let's get them in. All the way. And on to the next one. All right, now that we got the risers on, on our Grizzly here, um, the next step is going to be taking uh, the blue plastic that goes around the headlight here because that's all going to stay in place after you bolt the risers down, of course. Um, you're going to take and drill a hole in the top. And I'll explain that here in just a minute. And then you're going to bolt this, which I already obviously have done. You're going to bolt this, which these bolts will be supplied in the kit, right to these metal tabs that are part of this bracket that hold the headlight up here. So we'll get to this next uh, part. Now this is going to be something that we supply in the kit. What it's going to do is add a little more stability to this to keep it from flopping around. That's where you drill the hole. Basically, you get a bolt in here for it. And in here like so. Grab your Allen wrench and the hole in here just for this. It's going to go in the threaded hole that is already in this bracket. And you just take and just bolt in. Don't need to tighten it down real tight yet. Get it to where it's centered. And then just take and line everything up. You take a marker, and what you'll do is you'll mark on the bottom side of this, right up underneath here, where it needs to be drilled. And then when you do that, take your bolts back out, and then go over, grab a drill, drill the hole in this, and then it's to your installation. All right, and when you're putting this bracket on here to give this more stability, you'll notice how quickly it can become uh, misaligned. So just by moving this, bracket left or right a little bit. This thing will go left or right. So once you find the right alignment on that, then you can tighten everything down. Once you have the hole drilled in here, we're gonna supply one of these little push rivets with the with the kit. And just simply pop that in there. All right, now we're gonna get our handlebars on here. And what I'm gonna do is just lay them on here upside down because we have a couple other parts that we need to grab here. Here's your caps. In your dash plate that's going to hold your speedometer assembly now. I already have it mounted on here. We're going to have holes drilled out in here. All the hardware is going to be here with the kit. You will be using some parts that are already on the back of this. So what we're going to do, grab our bolts. One through here. Just hold that on. But now we're gonna get this bolted onto the riser. All right, now that we got our handlebars bolted in place, make sure they're aligned properly left or right. Make sure you get the sweep direction right, up and down. Now we can plug in our dash panel assembly here. It just plugs in right underneath. So you hear it click, we're ready to go there. Let's get our controls on the handlebars. It's up. So you get them in the up direction. Now the throttle assembly, I've noticed if you come from the back side of the handlebars and put it on, the line stay routed really nice. You grab your cap right here. Put that on your throttle assembly. Get that tightened up. Go to the other side and get the other controls on. All right, we got our controls all tightened down. We got our bars where we want them. 
We're gonna put some Spider A3 grips on. These do not come in the kit. Guys tend to go with a bunch of different grips. We do have these available for sale here. They're $10.95 for the pair. We really like them. They're gel, very comfortable. Now the other thing I wanna go over with you guys here real quick before I uh, sign off is the brake lines on these. They ran kind of along the bars and all we did was loosen this up just a little bit. We moved it to where it got out of the way. No fluid leaked, nothing like that. You gotta be very careful if you decide to do that. Now it'll be fine in the stock position if you decide, but we did move these, we moved this side as well. Did the same thing. Other than that, all you gotta do is uh, probably zip tie up your uh, wires and lines to give it that nice factory look and uh, you'll be good to go. All right guys, so that's the install of the Handlebar Riser Kit on our 2016 Grizzly. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to give us a call at 218-326-1794 or feel free to visit our website at rocksspeedfx.com. Until then, ride safe.